Hi, and welcome to Facts and Blog and Podcast. Well, as promised, we are getting back to some Q&A segments here on the show. And uh, one of the things we've actually gotten requests for is to do just a, a video podcast version of some of our FAQs that are on the website uh, uh, that uh, sometimes we get asked uh, because, you know, someone will buy a barrel or a, a firearm from us through uh, somewhere like a Brownells or an Optics Planet, and they don't necessarily go to our website to look for the FAQs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, so one of the ones that we get quite often, uh, which is on our FAQ page, is how do you test uh, your barrels? And there's there's several different processes that it goes through, obviously, uh, for, for testing. But uh, if you were to just take the thousand foot view, Jay, what, what is the kind of the, the testing procedure and quality procedure for uh, barrels? Okay, so uh, yeah, the, the quality procedure. Um, so our barrels are machined in, in you know, on a number of different steps or, or ops as we call them. And um, at every op, there are individual quality checks. You know, every time any machining operation is done on on any part, barrels included. Uh, you know, there's a, a first article part that's made, which is the the first piece that's made goes to QC and and they check for you know various things that were supposed to be accomplished during that machining process. Um, you know, and they check uh, at various points during uh, production and the last piece, and just make sure that. You know, the first piece produced is the same as the tenth, is the same as the hundredth, is you know the same as the last. Uh, so you know, at, at every stage of production, um, the parts are reviewed multiple times. Uh, you know, so so I think that's that's sort of important to know. But um, in terms of the the big uh, QC checks on barrels. Um, we air gauge the bores of every barrel uh, after rifling. So that determines um, bore diameter and uh, concentricity. Um, we hold concentricity to a two tenths uh, tolerance. Um, that's two tenths of a thousandth of an inch, not mm -hmm. two, two tenths, tenths of, of an inch. inch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, two, two, two tenths, tenths of a thousandth of, thousand of an zero inch. Zero 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 two, right? Right. right. Um, you know, so that's a pretty important check, and um, you know, it's it's um, it's pretty critical for the accuracy of a barrel that that the the bore be held that close. Right. So you know, we ch we check all that with air gauging. Um, let's see, all of our barrels run through a magnetic particle inspection after profiling. Um, so that is checking for um, seams or cracks or defects in the material. Um, it's a pretty interesting process. Uh, yeah. You know, maybe maybe we can film some at some point. Yeah, uh, that'll be something I, I'd love to do because we actually do that here. Yeah, we do that here. Yeah. Um, we have we have a full setup here, and um, the mag particle inspectors have to go through some ridiculous number of hours of training. Um, yeah. They sit in a, a room, uh, a dark room all day with uh, <laughs> black light on, um, pouring uh, this glow in the dark uh, slurry on barrels. Um, yeah. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. So uh, we do that for every barrel. Then um, <clears throat> at the end during barrel assembly, um, we uh, torque the extension on and check headspace on every barrel with. Um, precision ground gauges, uh, you know, for each each caliber. Mm -hmm. um, so if you've ever seen on the barrel extension, we have um, two paint marks. Uh, those are to show that the barrel uh, extension was torqued on to the proper torque, and then the, the headspace was checked on that barrel. And each operator at that position has different color pens, um, paint pens. And so, you know, you, sometimes you'll see like, yellow and green or, you know, pink and white or, you know, whatever the colors are. Uh, that's so that we can trace back uh, to the actual to operator. The actual operator. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. Yeah, the mag particle thing I think is interesting because 
Uh, and I, I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but it's not necessarily super common that a manufacturer has their own mag particle inspection in their they facility. Usually, they usually shop it out. You know, they're, mm -hmm. they usually send out parts for mag particle inspection if they're, if they're inspecting at all. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a, that's a, a, you know, a really important thing, especially for, uh, you know, high, uh, I'm not a, <clears throat> I'm not a scientist. Uh, I'm not a product director like Jay, nor an engineer, but for the, uh, just the, the combustion of different calibers yeah. of pigs, you know, like, especially when you get into some of these higher caliber, higher gauge items, you know, the, the mag particle is, is such an important part, you know, whereas, you know, maybe if you're doing a, something extremely, I don't know, what would be like a low charge, well, you know, barrel? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, you know, anything, any pressure containing vessel, I mean, a mm -hmm. barrel is a tube that, you know, contains pressure. Any mm -hmm. pressure containing vessel, you know, you're super sensitive that, you know, your material is perfect, you know, right. and, and our material all carries a lot of um, uh, specs with it, specifications that, um, you know, the steel mills have guaranteed that they've met. Um, you know, but you, you do want to make sure every single piece is perfect. They, there are no, you know, material defects hiding in it, um, you know, or nothing that was introduced, you know, after material was produced. So, you know, a crack or whatever, um, you know, so that's why we do it. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's mag particle inspection on, you know, a tube that does not contain pressure is probably not all that necessary, right. you know, but, uh, you know, on a barrel it is. Yeah, and uh, again, since we've talked about this in a previous Q&A, Barrels 101, Barrels 102 here on the show, um, you know, we, we do, since it comes in as just bar stock uh, here, you know, we're not just profiling somebody else's barrel, we're not just, you know, right. having someone else do the rifling or anything like that. You know, we're, we're kind of cutting out some of the ways that defects can even be introduced, yeah. uh, but also at the same time, you know, doing our due diligence and doing things like, you know, mag particle inspection uh, here. And we will uh, do our best to see if we could get some footage of mag particle. Yeah, it's sort of cool of when, they, when they put the, you know, UV light on and, and they, you know, get the little the slushy on, on, the, <laughs> on the barrel. Yeah, so. Lots of fun. Well, uh, don't forget that you can find uh, more FAQs at factsandfirearms.com. Uh, all you gotta do is click on the support page and you'll see an FAQ section right there. And if you have any questions for uh, the show or you would like to get something answered on air, please feel free to email us at podcast at factsandfirearms.com. Yeah, send them in. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we'll answer, answer some questions. And maybe we'll bring in some more people. Yeah. We got the room to do it now. Yeah, right. Yeah, we'll bring in an engineer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Bring, bring in a, a locomotive engineer. Right. Why not? Uh, <laughs> choo -choo. Uh, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Semi horn. Semi. <laughs> Hi, and welcome. Hi, and welcome. The Facts and Blog and Podcast. 